What's up, everybody? Nay Sarantino here, back with another episode of the Guided Spirits Podcast. And today, I want to talk to you about why everyone deserves respect. Now, this is a very important topic to me, as respect has been one of those issues in my life for a long time. With myself being respected, and with me respecting other people. And it's taken me a long time to realize what it feels like to be on both sides of the fence. So, to begin... I just want to tell a little story about how I grew up and me always disrespecting my parents. So, like, my parents would always tell me all these things to follow, and I was, like, a rule breaker as a kid. I would just always do the opposite of what people said. I didn't really care about anything. I wanted, like, I literally could care less. Like, I just wanted to have fun. And I went on to, uh never really listened to my parents when it came to like almost anything and um they always found that to be disrespect and then as I got older and I started learning about how to be healthier and all this and that I would look at their lives and I would like comment about all these things that I thought they could do better and I never meant meant it as disrespect but just by like commenting about like their drinking habits or commenting about the foods they're eating or like because when I started eating organically I was always like or rather not even before I started eating organic it was like eating healthier I would be like wow like you still eat that stuff and they would be like yeah like of course like we've been doing it our whole lives and we're still alive and I'm like yeah but like just because you're surviving doesn't mean you're thriving and they they I don't know if they ever felt what it feels like to thrive like I every day I feel like I'm like superhuman because I have so much energy I just like keep going and keep going and I've been getting tested a lot by the universe lately and I just like it seems like all these things keep happening to me and I just like can't like help but say bring it on and like I, I, I'm seeing what I'm truly made of when it comes to like my uh, capability to heal my body, my capability to, like, just, like, make it through anything, like, physical toughness, mental toughness, spiritual toughness, all of the following, I've been getting tested day by day in the last month, and I just, like, keep hitting all these tests out of the park, and let me rephrase that, there's definitely some of these tests that are, like, almost pushing me to my limits, where I'm, like, holy shit, like, I might start, like, smoking weed again, like, I might start, like, doing this, like, I'm, like, the, I bought the wrong transmission for my car, and I'm, like, ah, oh, shit, like, literally was, like, transmission fell onto my hand, like, crushed the tip of my right thumb, I got bit by a dog, like, a week ago, that, like, was really bad, and, like, broke my hand, um, transmission fell on me, uh, the old transmission fell on my hand while I was working on it too, so it's the second time the transmission fell on me, and I had a massive blister in the middle of my palm on my right hand, so, like, my right hand is just, like, getting slammed with injuries, and I tore my shoulder today at the gym, like, all these things keep happening to me, and I'm just, like, whatever, like, I'll heal it, I, like, manifest, like, my health back to, like, purity, and whatever it takes, and then, this, like, I got in a really bad fight with my sister, Tay, and this is what made me realize, like, I knew I was getting disrespected for, like, a while from her, but, like, today was, like, the tipping point. Like, I, I watched her disrespect her boyfriend, and I know, like, how much they, like, love each other, and there is something that happened this morning that I'm not going to talk about, but it's just, like, one thing after another, and after I saw the thing with her boyfriend, after the original thing that happened this morning that, like, kind of t- pissed me off, was she called him an idiot, or rather a fucking idiot, like, on quote, and for, like, boil- for boiling eggs or something, like, putting in the eggs while there was ones already cooking. And she was like, you screwed up the whole thing, now you can deal with it yourself. And I'm like, yo, chill, like, it's not a big deal, like... And I didn't want to get into it. And then fast forward after the eggs are done boiling, shit, like, hits the fan. And I'm literally, like, pissed at her right now. Like, I, like, there's so many things that have happened. I can't go into all of them. But, like, 
She just basically would find something to yell at me about every single day. And I have never once... Be, I've raised my voice at her once in, like, two months. And I'm finally, like, I'm done. And she has a, a pan of, like, pretty hot water, but it wasn't boiling anymore. And I just hit it out of her hands. And it goes all over the kitchen. And I'm like, yo, like, you have been, like, disrespecting the fuck out of me lately. I can't take it anymore. Like... You have to treat me with decency. And then I just basically went off on her. And then her boyfriend stands up to me. Good for him. Because, like, it showed that, like, they really do care about each other. And, um, it, like, really was, like, incredible. Like, how the two of them, like, they love each other a lot. But, like, I was so done with, like, her disrespect. And I had to deal with, like, her boyfriend after. And, like, when shit finally, like, started to cool off, they were like, yo, like, leave. And I'm like, no, like, this is my house. Like, you can get, you can get out of here. Like, I'm going to keep doing what I was doing. And, uh, literally that's what I did. Like, after I took an ice bath and took shower and I just, like, kept going on in my day and they left and they still have not come back and it's, like, nine o'clock and I'm just like, whatever, um, I, once again, feel so violated, and the fact that she this continuously disrespects me for the last two months has been my issue. Getting to the point, everyone deserves respect. Like, I should respect her, she should respect me, Her the same goes for her boyfriend and my relationship, respect should go both ways, and this should go for no matter who you are or where you're from, you should respect everyone, and if you think you're better than someone, you're not, like, every single person is equal, and you may ha bring more value to the table, but when it comes down to, like, human life and respecting someone and based on their needs, like, I would often eat food of hers basically just her eggs and drink her milk and i would buy milk once in a while i think i don't even think i bought eggs once and she wanted to switch off i have a lot going on in my life i'm very like low financially so i'm struggling to feed myself never mind supply eggs for the whole like crew and now she's going off on me about like this food things where I only eat a couple things and she literally doesn't do anything in the house. She cleans my cat, our cat's litter box and that's about it. Like I clean up the kitchen every day and everything's always a mess besides the kitchen because she doesn't clean up her stuff and it's this like respecting our our house like she doesn't care about it. Like I was talking about the grass being overgrown. She doesn't care about it and I don't want this to be a rant, but, like, the respect of, like, your, of things that aren't yours, like, that's another thing I did to my parents when I was younger, is disrespect their property, and I wouldn't, I just, like, I would shoot hockey pucks at the garage door, and I just didn't care, like, it literally, like, put, they, they look terrible to this day, and, I still feel bad about it now, and in hindsight, like, I know, like, we're, me and my sister are gonna, like, figure this out, but at the time, like, right now, like, the respect is, has to show up in order for a relationship to be there and I've been talking a lot about what makes relationships work and it's like you have that communication and the transparency in there but along with that you can't like have a relationship without respect and like everyone deserving respect is so necessary like uh, from never mind like socioeconomic status but like we have, like, the whole, like, racism issue, we have all these issues with, uh, sexism, and then, like, there's all these things going on about Pride Month, like, everyone deserves respect, no matter who you are, how you identify yourself, whatever it may be, like, I could care less what you think of yourself and your sense of identity. I'm gonna give you the same respect I would give to Joe Biden, I would give to some dude who's homeless in Boston, Massachusetts, to some dude I meet at this convention in Arizona at the beginning of July. I'm going to give every single person the same respect I want to give to my sister. And 
it's just that issue of like when someone's not respecting you, it's really hard to respect them back. And I've had this issue in past relationships in my life with, like, females where, like, they felt like they were being disrespected. And I was like, yeah, well, I was really this high and, like, didn't give a fuck about anything. Excuse my language. But it's true, like, I just didn't care. And when you don't care, you're not going to respect and that goes for people, it goes for property, it goes for anything. If you don't have that sense of caring, like, you have to show you care. That's another thing that makes relationships work. And I guess that goes hand in hand with respect. Like, you have to care. And if you don't care, well, things are gonna get ugly, like they did for me and my sister today. And it's gonna, this hit the relationship, it's the kind of stuff that, like, people, like, they, they don't talk for a while, because, like, this, like, it's, like, it was boiling up, and then this, the pot tipped, and I was, like, I couldn't take it anymore, like, I never get really upset at anyone, I never do, and I just have been watching her, like, eat, like, absolute shit, she doesn't take care of her body, doesn't take care of her things, and all, and she complains about money, says she has none, all I see her do is spend money, and then I, I say one thing, and she's like, you don't work, and I'm like, you understand what I'm doing? Like, I'm chasing my dreams. Like, I'm I'm literally, like, I'm the kind of person who says, like, I only live once. If I die today, I know I died chasing the dream of all dreams. Like, I know I did everything in my power to make everything I ever wanted to come true every day. And if you're not doing that, like, what are you doing with your life? Like, you only get one. The money is only going to bring you so much happiness. And as long as you have food, water, shelter, and air, you basically should just be trying to chase your dreams. It's like... What else would you be doing? Trying to procreate? Maybe have a family? Maybe find a lover? Find some kind of significant other? Like, maybe some friends? Find your tribe? Like, there, there, there's basic things, but all of them, you need to have respect to the people around you. And it goes for every situation at all times. And the bottom line is, like, disrespect is not tolerated. And if you're, like tolerating disrespect in your workplace by your co-workers, if you're tolerating disrespect by your family, if you're tolerating this, don't. Like, you get what you tolerate. And I figured that out a long time ago, and I tolerated her disrespect for two months, and when I flipped out, it got bad. And I should have said something a long time ago, and I wanted to wait and see if it got better, but what I realized is, uh, Things don't get better unless you speak up. And uh, that's where I'm going to end it. Speak up. Use your voice. You only have what you say. If you're not going to say anything, no one's going to know you have an issue. You have to speak up. And I hope someone takes this to heart and it changes their life. Thank you for listening and have a great rest of your day.